Congratulations everybody. We made it to the weekend and now we get to relax a little bit. Hope it's all starting off good for everybody around here. It's a little bit warmer. So let's enjoy this last nice weekend before the Christmas season starts. Today we're continuing chapter 21. Hagar and Ishmael sent away. The child grew and was weaned, and on the day Isaac was weaned, Abraham held a great feast. But Sarah saw that the son whom Hagar the Egyptian had borne to Abraham was mocking, and she said to Abraham, Get rid of that slave woman and her son, for that woman's son will never share in the inheritance with my son Isaac. The matter distressed Abraham greatly, because it concerned his son. But God said to him, Do not be so distressed about the boy and your slave woman. Listen to whatever Sarah tells you, because it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. I will make the son of the slave into a nation also, because he is your offspring. Early the next morning, Abraham took some food and a skin of water and gave them to Hagar. He set them on her shoulders and then sent her off with the boy. She went on her way and wandered in the desert of Beersheba. When the water and the skin was gone, she put the boy under one of the bushes. Then she went off and sat down about a bow shot away, for she thought, I cannot watch the boy die. And as she sat there, she began to sob. God heard the boy crying, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What is the matter, Hagar? Do not be afraid. God has heard the boy crying as he lies there. Lift the boy up and take him by the hand, for I will make him into a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. So she went and filled the skin with water and gave the boy a drink. God was with the boy as he grew up. He lived in the desert and became an archer. While he was living in the desert of Paran, his mother got a wife for him from Egypt. So just a little continuation about Hagar and Ishmael. Um, Sarah saw that uh, Ishmael was mocking um, the day that uh, Isaac was weaned and when Abraham held a feast for him. So she told Abraham to get rid of both Ishmael and his mother, Hagar. But since he was Abraham's son, uh, of course he felt you know bad about this. So God told him, don't worry, since he's you know still your offspring, he will be made into a nation as well. I think it was pretty cool, you know, that they're wandering through uh, the desert of Beersheba and you know run out of water, but then. Angel of the Lord comes and says, you know, don't be ashamed or don't be worried. You know, God promised he'll make him into a nation. And then she finds a well of water to uh, to get some water from so that her son doesn't die. And then I thought it was pretty cool. They just they lived in the desert and became or he lived in the desert and became an archer. Just to specify that he became an archer. I don't know. It's kind of another just random interesting fact that I I don't know. I like the ones that are kind of like. They're not the big stories. Not a lot of people is going to uh, remember that. I think it's cool that, you know, just one little sentence and you know that he was, an, he was a good archer. Um, yeah, and then uh, while he was living in the desert of Paran, uh, his mother, Hagar, got him a wife from Egypt. So, yeah, so Hagar and Ishmael end up living away from Abraham. Uh... Ishmael grows up as an archer and has a wife from Egypt. So we're a little bit more uh, caught up on what their story looks like after they're with Abraham and Sarah. Uh, after Isaac is born, of course. I hope everybody continues to have a good weekend. Uh, I have some stuff to finish up this weekend, but uh, hopefully that goes well. Uh, definitely, I, I relaxed a little bit too much Friday night, or right now for me since i'm recording right now because it's currently just a little after three in the morning <laughs> and i almost forgot that i had a recording to do tonight um but that's just i i was enjoying my friday i got to relax a lot watch some movies played some games uh my fiance and i got our wedding invitations rsvps and save the dates i believe ordered uh, so a really good, you know, Cyber Monday deal for that, which is why we wanted to do it right now. Uh, props to her. She she did really good on that. I think they're really going to look nice. Uh, but yeah. So I, uh, I'll i leave it at that. Decent, decent length video today. Not super, you know, intense or anything like that. But just, you know, 
we found out some more information. So yeah, have a good rest of your Saturday, and we'll see you again tomorrow.